Hi, my name is Josh and that's Jenna. And it's time for another edition of I Teach My Wife Sales. For the last four months, I have been trying to convince Jenna to do resistance training and weight training in our home gym. I've been saying things like this. Hey, Jen, as you know, when we get older, we need to use weights and resistance training so we don't lose muscle and we don't lose bone density and break our bones. What have you been doing for resistance training today? And you would say things like what? I haven't done anything. And then I would say, well, you should work out in the home gym, on the tonal. It's resistance equipment, and here's why. And in the four months that I've been trying to build my case, how many times have you worked out in the home gym? 0, 0.00 times. So I marked the opportunity as close loss. I gave up, and it's been two months. It's been lovely. <laughs> It's been two months Delightful. since I tried to make my case. I come home today, and lo and behold, I hear someone working out in the home gym. That's right. And it's Jenna. That's right. What happened? Well, because this morning I heard you doing it. He does the Tony Horton workout every morning, and then he left. So I had my coffee, and I watched the Today Show, and I walked the dog, and then I was like, I think I'll take some time and work out. And I did the Tony Horton workout, and it was delightful. And, and then you came home. What is the lesson here for sellers? Well, the thing is, people know what they need and they know what you have and they'll do it and come to you when they're ready. Like when there was no pressure and no nagging, I got off the couch and I did it for me and it felt good. But if I do it for you, it feels like I'm being pushed. Ironically, the less you care about making the sale, the more sales you make.